Fabric Mods. How do you download and install them in 1.20.1? Well, in this video, we're going to show you exactly how to do exactly that. Now, as you can see here, first things first, you want to go to the second link in the description down below. That'll take you to this page. This is our in-depth guide on how to download and install the Fabric Mod Loader, which is required for Fabric Mods. This goes over everything, but we're going to go over to everything in this video as well. So just go ahead and click on the yellow Download Fabric button to be taken to the official Fabric download page. Once you're here, you want to click on this Download Universal Jar button. Yes, it's the little text under the big Download for Windows button, but the reason we're doing that is because once you download using this, you'll be able to install other Minecraft mods. All your files will look correct during this. Everything will be good if we use the Download Universal Jar versus the Download for Windows. As you can see, this will download automatically in the bottom left. You may need to keep or save this file depending on your browser, but it's 100% safe to do that. Now, there are some other things we need to download, and of course, those are the mods themselves. Now, one thing you should download with Fabric, no matter what, is the Fabric API. Think about this as like an extension mod of Fabric, and we have a link, of course, in the description down below to this, as well as all the other mods we mention here. Go ahead and click on the Download Fabric API button to be taken to the official download page, or you want to make sure you click on Files, and then find the 1.20.1 version of the Fabric API, which is right here at the top currently. You may need to find it lower down later on, but right now it's at the top. Then go ahead and click on the three dots and click on download. While this is downloading, have a message from our company, Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below, thebreakdown.xyz slash sgh to start your very own Minecraft server running Fabric. Yes, you can install Fabric mods in just a few clicks on your Simple Game Hosting server. It's actually so easy that you can select Fabric and check out and then just add your mods to the server and you're done. Boom, your mods are on the server and you can join it. So if you want to start a server with Fabric mods or Forge mods or mod packs or all quickly and easily, go check out Simple Game Hosting at the first link in the description down below, the breakdown to XYZ slash SGH. And again, we have support mod packs with an amazing mod pack installer as well. So if you're looking for more mod packs, not individual fabric mods, well, we have that solution for you too. So again, that's the first link in the description down below, the breakdown to XYZ slash SGH. And as you can see, the fabric API is downloaded. We're also going to go ahead and grab just enough items here. Go ahead, scroll down, click the download just enough items button. Now, the most important thing here is that we want to make sure that we are downloading the fabric version of just enough items. To do that, go ahead and click on files, and then you want to find the fabric version under mod loader. As you can see, if you download the forge version, this won't work. Minecraft may not even start. So you want to make sure that you're downloading the fabric version, which as you can see right there it is for 1.20.1. Come to the right hand side, click the three dots and click download file and again, wait a few seconds. Now there are two more mods we're going to download here. We're going to download Spark. The reason I recommend Spark is because, well, it is a mod that allows you to see lag in Minecraft. But again, we want to make sure that we're downloading the Fabric 1.20 version, which we are here, right like so. And then Block Us, which is just a really cool mod, but it requires the Fabric API, which is one of the reasons I want to do this. As you can see, this adds in a bunch of different blocks into a Minecraft, but you know the drill at this point. You want to make sure that you are downloading the fabric version for 1.20.1. Click the three dots and click download. With all of the mods downloaded, we can go ahead and minimize our browser. Now what we want to do is move everything to the desktop just because it's easier to manage there, but by the end of the video, nothing will be on the desktop as far as these mods go. So let's go ahead and open up the start menu and type in our downloads folder. Or type in downloads to find our downloads folder. Open this up and then in here you'll have everything. We'll have all of our mods, which is the fabric API, just enough items, block us, and spark. And then we'll also have the fabric installer. So let's go ahead and move all of this to the desktop. Uh, be it these are being a little weird here. Let's see if we can cancel that and maybe we can move these. There we go. Now everything is on the desktop. Do a little organization here, a little bit of housekeeping. We can see that we have our mods on the left and we have the fabric installer here. The fabric installer is what we're actually going to be starting off with. So go ahead and right click on the fabric installer, click on open with, click Java and click OK. But Nick, I don't have Java here. Well, if you don't have Java, that is where this link in the description down below comes in, Java 17. This goes over everything you need to know to get Java 4 Minecraft mods and it's super simple. We have an in-depth guide, we have a video guide, go get Java 17 and then once you've got Java 17 you may need to run the jar fix. This is going to link up the jar files from your computer back to Java making them work happily together but make sure you get Java 17 and then run the jar fix. Nevertheless once you've done that we can right click on fabric, click on open with, click Java and click OK, and specifically that was the Fabric Installer, not the Fabric API. You want to right click on the Fabric Installer and do that. Nevertheless, we can now select the 1.20.1 version. You can leave the mod loader version the same, make sure Create Profile is checked, and then click Install. The only reason this wouldn't work is if you've never played Minecraft 1.20.1 before without any mods. If that's the case, go play it, just open it to the main menu and close it. This also may have issues if Minecraft or the Minecraft launcher are open, so make sure to close out of both of those, then install Fabric. 
Nevertheless, let's go ahead and click OK to close out of that and close out of the Fabric Installer. You can also delete the Fabric Installer. Now let's get our mods. To do this, we want to open up the Minecraft Launcher. And then in the Minecraft Launcher, you should have a Fabric Installation. But if for whatever reason you don't, I'm going to show you how to get one. So let's go ahead and do that. So as you can see, we do have the Fabric Loader 1.20.1 here. If you do, that's awesome. Don't click Play, but that's awesome. If you don't, though, click on Installations at the top. And even if you do, click on Installations at the top because you need to come here to be able to install your mods. Now once you're on this page, you need to make sure modded is checked in the top right. As you can see, if we unselect modded, that fabric installation disappears. We check modded, there it is. But if you still don't have this, click on new installation. Now you can name this whatever you want. I'm going to name it Simple Game Hosting because that's the easiest way to start a Fabric Minecraft server. Then you want to end the versions drop down box, select release Fabric Loader 1.20.1. You want to make sure that is the 1.20.1 version and that it says Fabric at the beginning. You may need to scroll down to find this, by the way. Mine was just at the top, though. Let's go ahead and change our resolution as well. I'm just doing that so you can see once we get in game. Now, finally, how do we install all of our mods here into Minecraft? Well, we just want to make sure, again, that mod is checked under version. Versions, and then we want to find the fabric installation that can be the one we created or the one that's there by default hover over it and click on the folder icon that's then going to open up our minecraft folder where you should have a mods folder if you don't have a mods folder what do you do well right click create a new folder and title that folder mods mods all at the same time exactly like that so mods all one word, all lowercase. Go ahead and open up that mods folder and now drag and drop the Minecraft mods you want to install into this mods folder. So in our case, that's just enough items, the Fabric API, Block Us, and Spark. Now we can close out of this mods folder and we can launch Minecraft. Just click play and click play again on either the fabric installation that was there by default or the one that you created. You just want to make sure that it is the fabric loader 1.20.1 version under whatever version of Minecraft or installation of Minecraft that you play. Here we are, Minecraft is open. Now unfortunately there's no real way to see the fabric mods you have installed from the main menu. We can see that fabric is installed in the bottom left. It does say fabric there. But in order to see the mods that we actually do have installed, we'll have to create a new world. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Then I will meet you in game to show you that and sure enough these fabric mods are working because uh yeah just like to prove that with every video because i get it some people on youtube like to lie we're not one of those people but unfortunately some people do so we'll see you in game to show you everything's working all right so here we are in game first things first you should probably go ahead and start a spark profiler because well that needs to kind of run while we're doing this and then we can go ahead and hit e to open the inventory there is just enough items and to see block us you can just type in block and we will be able to see here is all of the stuff that uh, block us adds in i mean it is a uh, lot of cool different style blocks that are added in even legacy grass blocks which is kind of cool i mean tons of, of cool kind of building blocks that you can use for different buildings i mean look at that we've also got you know the different sort of gradient style of the different ores here right like so and then obviously we've got the uh, rainbow block which uh bit trippy but really cool as well as the uh future neo blocks here which are awesome and even an ender block so there you go. Those are some of the different blocks. There's a lot more than that, but that's just showing, of course, that the mod is working. We go ahead and stop the Spark Profiler. We will get a uh, link here, and this is a link that can be used to troubleshoot different lag on your Minecraft modded world. As you can see, we can see our TPS here. The higher this is, the better. We can also see different, you know, what's using different threads and different resources on our server. So you can break this all down here at the bottom and see what is using what. So really cool stuff awesome sort of performance mod that allows you to see what is using a lot of performance on your server. As you can see, just generally fabric is using the most, which makes sense. So there you have it. That is how, though, you can download and install fabric mods in Minecraft 1.20.1. If you want to start a fabric server, check out Simple Game Hosting at the first link in the description down below at thebreakdown.xyz.sgh, and we'll see you in the next video. I am out. Peace.